What is a high pass filter and how do you use the free one that's included here with GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you. Let's go. To add the high pass filter, first select a track and then tap on the mixer icon. Come down to plugins and EQ and hit edit. Now find one of these green pluses, preferably towards the end of your chain, and then tap on audio unit extension. Scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find these white Apple AU plugins and tap on AU high pass filter. Hit done and then to access the settings, just tap on this white Apple icon. Now, if you don't see these 17 free Apple AU plugins here in GarageBand, you'll need to go out to your GarageBand settings and turn on the Apple AU plugins. I'll show you how to do that in another video you'll find linked in the description. But what is a high pass filter? Well, it's also called a low cut filter, which in my opinion makes more sense because what it actually does is it cuts off frequencies below the cutoff frequency or it passes all the frequencies above it, which is why it's called a high pass filter. So you've only got two options you need to worry about here, your cutoff frequency. So let's just drag this dot left or right and get it around 200 Hertz and then your resonance. And this is how steep it actually drops off. So if we pull this up, you see you get a little bump at the point where you have the cutoff frequency and then it tails off. If we bring this down, it's more of a gentle curve down. So the volume will start going down at around 1.5 kilohertz here and then slowly go down until 96 hertz where you'll get absolutely no volume. It makes a lot more sense when you hear it in action. So let's do that now. So I've added it to this vocal track. Let's first of all turn it off, solo the vocals and take a listen. Sometimes I sit around and wonder how how it is I got here and if I'm going under. Now let's turn on the high pass filter and jump in here and check out our settings. So the way you'll usually use this is really just to remove any of those low rumbly frequencies. So let's say you're recording in an environment and a truck goes past or you've got a rumbly air conditioner noise or a hum, you can actually remove any frequencies in that lower range. So normally you want to set this around about the 200 hertz, leave the resonance at zero dB and then take a listen to the track. Sometimes I sit around and wonder how it is I got here and if I'm going under. Now in this case, I don't have a whole lot of bassy rumble or noise down there, so it's not doing a whole lot. But if at any point I maybe bump the mic stand throughout, it doesn't do much harm because none of your vocal frequencies are going to be down here and it can actually clean things up and ensure that things like your vocals and your guitars and your keys are not interfering with your kick drum or bass drum sounds or your bass frequencies. However, a high pass filter can also be used for a particular effect and it's that radio sound that kind of am radio sound because old radios basically didn't have a lot of bass frequency response so if we drag this up as we play this back you'll hear that all of those bass frequencies are removed and all that's left is the tinny kind of treble frequencies let's give it a listen Sometimes I sit around and wonder how it is I got here and if I'm going under all the complications of my life, all the times when I couldn't reach a knife in my back. So if you've ever wondered how you get that kind of effect where it removes all the bass tones and you're just left with that kind of transistor radio sound, we can use a high pass filter to quickly and easily do that. Now you might be thinking at this stage, can't I just use the visual EQ and grab this bottom end and pull it down? Well, yes, you can, but you don't get quite the level of control over the resonance and the frequencies that you do with the high pass filter and also means that you can use your EQ for maybe doing some other things like maybe you actually want a little drop there and then it to completely drop off at the bottom so it just gives you an extra tool in your arsenal and also because these are built-in AU plugins from Apple they don't use very much processing power at all so you can layer these up and use these for that one single purpose so there you have it the high pass or low cut filter, a useful little tool here in GarageBand. And if you'd like to learn about a heap more about creating, recording and releasing in GarageBand, including using all 17 of these free plugins, make sure you're subscribed and check out the other videos linked in the description.